Hi there. Oh, I've been rushing around <clears throat> all day today doing things, and uh, I suppose in about an hour's time I shall have to start cooking supper. But not just yet. I thought I'd talk to you first of all, and then I've got some typing to do, and um, uh, a bit more blogging actually. I've been, I've been rather busy. Uh, so, yes, and it's jolly cold today, isn't it? Which is why I've got this scarf on. A wrap. Why don't you say a wrap? Shouldn't one? <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a wrap. So it's very cold. And, um, of course, we've got to expect it. I mean, it is, oh dear, getting very near to Christmas. And I still haven't done much. <laughs> and tomorrow I really must send uh, some things off to Australia. Then actually I ought to get onto Amazon. Oh dear. Never mind, never mind. Right, I was just thinking to myself, um, I must tell you, I said the other day that I would tell you about that um, plant centre, my favourite plant, plant centre round about here. And it's, um, it's, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my nose, it's Bunkers Hill Plant Centre. <clears throat> In fact, they call it the Good Value Plant Centre, and it's on the road just outside of um, Kidlington in um, Oxfordshire. And I'll put the address in my, um, in my blog, which I'll do later on. Anyway, it's, um, it's OX53BA is the postcode, and um, of course they're, they're, on, um, <coughs> they're, they're on the internet. And why I suddenly thought about them today was because I've received via the internet my um, Christmas vouchers for, you know, for being a loyal customer. So that's rather nice. So I shall definitely go and visit them again soon and um, buy something Christmassy, which will be very nice. So that's one thing. And then the other thing I was going to tell you about was the, um, the butcher who supplied the meat for last Sunday's Christmas, no, 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 birthday celebration at, um, at that pub we went to, the, um, oh, the horse and groom at Milcombe. Anyway, apparently, it, um, it's the, the bit, butcher's name, sorry, I'm, it's very naughty, the butcher's name is Tr Trev Beadle, and he has a shop in Chipping Norton, and it's on Market Street in Chipping Norton, and the postcode for that is OX7. 5NQ and um, we had, well I had for lunch, um, Mr Beadle's best beef, best, sorry, rump of beef and it really was delicious. You know so often you get beef that's um, it's nice but it's too chewy and then you spend all that time chewing and, and you didn't really get to enjoy it. Well this was very nice indeed, very uh, very moist and very tender. Uh, of course a lot has to do with the cooking but I, I do think really it's all to do with the butchery and how it's hung and the length of time and all that. I think it's terribly important. Anyway, so the beef was very nice. So it's Chipping Norton, which actually isn't very far away from Banbury at all. So so that's rather good. And then what else? Oh, I know. We went to our WI party last night. <laughs> that was a bit of a scream. It was a very nice evening. Um, we, ha had, um, we all had lasagna and salad for lunch and apple crumble and cream for pudding and a little wine. So that was that was very nice. And one of the um, our members, fellow members, organised a quiz. And we actually, on our table, well, our team, we got 16 out of 20. And we still didn't get a prize because there was one team that actually got all 20 right, <laughs> which was brilliant. So, so anyway, that was great fun. And it's amazing what you know when, um, you know, when there's, there's a few of you, can you each probably know a little bit about the particular question and answer thing and then you put it all together <laughs> so it was very good I'm never very good at those things on my own but I can always add a word or two so <laughs> that was rather nice uh, so we went to that and do you know it was terribly funny all day yesterday I kept thinking oh, I know I've got something on this evening and I couldn't think of what it was and finally he rang up to say that um, my girlfriend's husband had suggested that he and my man go out for supper together because we were going out of course, so he was able to tell me, you know, remind me what I was doing. So that was great. So yes, friend and I, girlfriend and I went off, and um, the two other halves went off with um, another couple. And so they had a they had a jolly evening, and we had a good evening too. <laughs> it was very nice. And what else did I have? And I had to say, I haven't had a tiny sliver sliver of my uh, sweet potato cake when I came home because um, with the frosting on it. It was lovely. Now this frosting, she doesn't, um, um, Sibidon Kitchen doesn't call it that, but I know there is an American seven minute frosting, which is um, a beaten uh, meringue. You 
you beat it to begin with over simmering water and then you beat it until it sort of gets cooler and it forms lovely soft white peaks and you can pipe with it. Well, I didn't pipe mine because I couldn't find my piping bag. Actually, I have a feeling I've thrown the last one away and I had used to have some wonderful piping tubes, but, well, they were very ancient. I think some of them came from my sister because, um, you know, she's a, she's a, she was a professional chef and um, caterer, in fact, in the end. So I think everything's been thrown away or lost in one of the moves. So I actually have to go and buy some more. But you really do have to get good ones because some of these um, inexpensive ones simply do not work. Right, so that was that. So the party was great fun. And, oh, it's my composter. Yes, he has said he'll put it up for me tomorrow. Well, I've actually asked him, so I hope he will put it up tomorrow because we really must get this compostable fabric out of the kitchen. That would be a very good idea. So I think tomorrow's going to be busy. And, of course, it's always... Uh, well, I'm not quite sure if I'll buy the Saturday papers tomorrow because there's a new magazine I want to get. Um, I've had a couple of issues... Um, but it came out today and I couldn't find it anywhere when I went out shopping. Um, I think it's a simple simple life or simple idea. It's, it's very nice. It's all about doing things at home, making things, growing things, putting things together, all that sort of thing. Um, and it's got some very good pictures in it. You know, it's a rather nice publication. Because I have Country Living every month. I absolutely adore it. And I've had it ever since it came out. Oh, right. So we'll have to see about that. So tomorrow we'll be busy. But I hope to get this composter going. And then um, and then, and then, I've got lots of reading to do over the weekend. I must get on with my book club book. Um, it's Gilead at the moment for next week, so I've got to get on with that. And I'm going to be out next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday doing things all day. So, it's, yes, life's going to be a bit busy next week. So I must get on with things. OK, I've, I'm waffling far too long. I'm going to go have a lovely, lovely weekend if we don't speak again until Monday. Enjoy whatever you do and um, have fun. Bye for now. Bye.